15 weather forecast. Welcome back 10 minutes after six and you're going to want to make sure that air conditioner is in working order. Otherwise, today may be a great day to go to the pool because it is going to be hot and we'll have some humidity to go along with that as those dew points start to climb to the low to even mid 60s for today and especially tomorrow out ahead of a cold front that will bring us a chance at some severe weather going into tomorrow night. Now, tonight we'll have some of that low level moisture and instability uh, with a good bit of sunshine in the early going that could spark a few storms that may be strong, potentially severe, but Tomorrow night, some will have more of those ingredients in place, such as that mid-level shear uh, that we need to sustain better chances at severe weather. Again, that heads our way tomorrow night. Otherwise, in the wake of that, we have a cold front moving through, which is where those storms will be stemming from, and that'll cool us off quite a bit as humidity starts to drop as well. Not quite feeling like July. It'll feel a bit more like mid-spring. Otherwise, for today, starting off with a good bit of sunshine, and we climb to the low 80s by 10 o'clock, but... As we know, after 10 o'clock, we still have plenty of heating to go, especially when we have more of that sunshine. So we are expecting it to be at least into the low 90s later on this afternoon. A look at our Nicolay Bank Skycam over Hastings Way, showing that sun creeping behind just a few thin cirrus clouds right now. Temperature of 61. It's been holding on to that for quite some time. Our dew point has only shot up by one degree right now. Still at 59 degrees, so still rather comfortable but we'll see those creep up a bit more later this morning and into the afternoon. A wide range of temperatures to start us off. Some upper 40s and low 50s towards our lower elevations. A lot of us towards the central part of the viewing area, mostly into the 60s and even a few 70s off towards the west with 70 in Baldwin and Osceola. Now our winds have been pretty calm through the overnight. These will pick up just a little bit out of the southwest as we have a cold front again stationed to our west. Dew points over the last hour have started to creep up ever so slightly, but still rather comfortable for those of us towards the central and eastern parts of the viewing area. But looking ahead at the next couple of days, again today we'll have that noticeable feel, meaning that we'll have dew points in the low to mid 60s, nothing that's oppressive, but you'll notice that it's a bit muggy. Looking ahead at tomorrow though, out ahead of that cold front, immediately out ahead of it, that's where we'll have that influx of the low level moisture, and that'll make it feel downright sticky. But behind that cold front, things will be a lot more comfortable. And there's a look at it right now, mostly towards northwestern Minnesota. But for us, things have been staying dry. High pressure still towards the Great Lakes area. But behind this front towards parts of South Dakota, northeastern Wyoming, that's where we're expecting some strong to potentially severe storms to develop. And again, this is the front that comes into play later on tomorrow. Now we'll look at today again with instability building. This could spark a few showers and storms later this afternoon and evening, most of which should fizzle out towards the uh, first half of the overnight. Then looking ahead at tomorrow, starting off with some sunshine, again building some instability, but then a few more storms start to roll in tomorrow afternoon into the evening. And that, again, is where we'll have those better chances at strong to severe storms with a few chances at some lingering showers to take us into the early hours of Wednesday. Now this is looking at tomorrow evening, a lot of us towards the northwestern part of the state in that level two risk and that level one risk stretching all the way down towards the capital city. The primary threats out of this would be those gusty winds and a potential for some large hail. It's just something that we'll want to uh, keep an eye on going into tomorrow, especially depending on how much sunshine we see in the early going, how much instability we can build out of that. Highs today, again, upper 80s, low to mid 90s for a lot of us. And tonight staying pretty mild with a lot of lows, staying in the low 70s and dipping into the upper 60s. Beyond that, though, cooling off quite a bit towards the middle of the week with highs only reaching the mid to upper 70s. But then looking ahead at this weekend, feeling a bit more seasonable and staying dry for the most part until Sunday. That brings the return of more of those chances at some showers and storms. Now for a sunshine award today, Dale Nelson would like to nominate Brianna Chwala and says, I had the pleasure of talking to Brianna while she was testing the beach at Mead Lake Campground on May 22nd. Before I even started the conversation, she had, she had a bright smile on her face that was inviting and so pleasant to see. I asked her what she was doing out of curiosity, and the conversation continued from there. And being the curious guy that I am, I had a lot of questions, and she happily answered every single one. After my half-hour conversation, I found myself smiling. Brianna was so kind that I had to think of a way to repay her kindness. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.